Hello, and welcome to part five of this course. This part is about so-called multi-object conjugate priors, which can be used to develop algorithms that can track an unknown and time-varying number of objects. In this video, we're going to start with some examples and try to give some intuition about what it is we will learn. Shown here is a typical scenario that an autonomous vehicle might encounter in a city. We have a T crossing with two roads, there are some vehicles and pedestrians, both in the field of view and outside the field of view. And what we want to do here is to track the objects while they are in the field of view. Let's have a look at some example tracking results from an urban environment. In the video we will show, we have used a tracking algorithm called Poisson Multi Bernoulli Mixture Filter, or PMBM, and the input data are 3D detections from LiDAR data. And on the right, we have a bird's eye view of the tracking results. And above it, you can see a camera image of the scene. And as you can see, the tracking algorithm is able to track the vehicle and the bicyclist that remain in the field of view, as well as the other objects that are stationary on the side of the road and therefore appear and disappear from the field of view. For the objects that are moving, you can see predicted positions in front of the estimates. And to produce these predictions, a constant velocity motion model was used. Here's one additional example from a slightly different environment. So as we can see in this movie, the tracking algorithm is capable of tracking both small and large objects. Now, these two particular videos that we have just watched were produced by two master thesis students at Chalmers, and they studied this material before the video lectures were recorded. And we chose to show these specific results because we wanted to highlight that what you learn here really brings you to the cutting edge of tracking research, both for automotive applications such as this one and for other types of applications. So in addition to the challenges that we had earlier, we now have uncertainty about the number of objects. We have uncertainty about when and where the objects appear and disappear. And just like before, we have uncertainty about the states of the objects. So let's return to the illustration scenario. To begin with, we have the objects in the field of view, where each object can be represented by a Bernoulli density with a probability of existence and some state density. And here the numbers represent the probability of existence and the circle and ellipse represent Gaussian mean and covariance. And the probability of existence is useful for representing the fact that we are not certain whether or not an object is actually there. And the state density is useful for representing the uncertainty we have about the position of the object and so on. And if the estimated probability of existence becomes too low, we can remove the Bernoulli entirely. That way, we can handle that objects disappear from the field of view. If the probability of existence is very low, we can just remove that object estimate. We also have to deal with the objects that appear. And to do this, there are two types of approaches or methods. The first alternative is to add additional Bernoulli densities where objects are believed to be probable to appear. So in this example, we might perhaps expect pedestrians to appear on the sidewalks near the edge of the field of view. And since we are not certain that a pedestrian will actually appear, we assign a low probability of existence to these Bernoullis. And here in this example, this is set to 0.05. New vehicles might perhaps appear in the opposing lane or on the road to the left of the autonomous vehicle. So this would give us a new set of Bernoullis. And tracking filters based on this method for handling new objects that appear are called multi-Bernoulli mixture filters. The second method for handling new objects that appear is to only add new Bernoullis if there is a detection that indicates that a new object could have appeared. Let's say that the pedestrian and vehicle move such that they enter the field of view. And let's say that both are detected, here illustrated by the red squares. In this case, we can add new Bernoullis, one for each measurement. Because we now have a detection, in general, we can often be a bit more certain about the new objects. 
As you can see, in this example, the probabilities of existence of the two objects are 0.55 and 0.75. Tracking filters based on this measurement-driven method for handling new objects that appear are called Poisson multi-Bernoulli mixture filters. Okay, great. That was a brief introduction and some example results using tracking algorithms that we will teach you. So in the coming videos, you will learn about multi-object conjugacy, models for object birth and object death, so-called MBM and PMBM tracking filters, and also about how labels can be used to form what is called trajectories.